Hello and welcome back. It is time for an update for my Shop My Stash slash makeup basket. I do this about every other week and I usually pick five items, sometimes four, just to get some use out of rotate through my collection. I do a lot of project pans, so I don't want to get stuck using the same products over and over. So this is a great way for me to rotate through things. The first half of the video, I will recap last time's products. And then the second half, I will be picking out new products. If you're interested, I have a whole Shop My Stash playlist. And I also did do a recent going through my makeup collection declutter. I got rid of a few things. So I will link that as well if you are interested. And let's get into the recap. I had picked one lip product and it was a lipstick. This is a ColourPop in Layover. It is a warm nude and I'm wearing this today, but I did put more of a pinky gloss just to make it a bit more pink. You can really change this color. Um, I wore it in one of my tutorials. I actually did two last week. One was cream makeup products and the other one was a spring green makeup look. And I think it was the green one that I wore this and I wore it with a warm tone lip gloss and it looked totally different. It was way more of like a warm brown color and this is great. I love these Lux lipsticks. It is one of my favorite lipstick formulas of all time. I think I have three or four of these and yeah, they are beautiful. Really nice packaging too, especially for such an inexpensive product, this like metal type stuff. Yeah, very, very nice, great formula and good everyday color. Then I had picked a cream blush and that was this one by Undone Beauty. This is their lip to cheek palette in the color rosy. And this one was sent to me for review. I do love it though. This is sold at Target, this is $10. And it's supposed to be three different formulas. One's more opaque to more sheer and you can use this on your cheeks or your lips. I have not used this on my lips yet, but I do wanna try that because it's a really pretty pink. And I'm actually wearing this today with a bit of Urban Decay Bittersweet blush on top. I did recently rank my blushes. I did not include cream blush in that, but I was kind of embarrassed that I rarely wore Bittersweet. So I'm wearing it today and it's actually really nice. So I should use that more. So I will put either like a pink or purpley blush on top of this. I do like to set my cream blush. Like I mentioned, I did a whole cream products tutorial. I will link that. This is fantastic. And I have since put this in my Partners in Cream project pan. How I use this is I just kind of dip my finger in it, pat it on my cheeks, and then just blend it out with my beauty sponge. And then I put a little bit of powder blush on top just so that it lasts all day. And yeah, this is my favorite out of my cream blushes, I think. This one and the milk one. They are really nice and very easy to blend. Alrighty, then I had a bronzer and I used the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is my second or third repurchase of this. I have finished two of these before. I love this bronzer. I used it a few times, not a ton, because I am working on a bronzer in a project, but I'll be taking that out of that project soon, so I'm gonna rotate through more bronzers. And I really like the Butter Bronzer and I love the smell. I know, but it blends very easily and it's a more subtle bronzer, which I think is good for, you know, everyday daytime. I don't need to look super bronzed. I just want like a little bit of dimension to my face and this is perfect for that. And I did get one of the butter blushes last month and that is really nice too. I really enjoy this butter formula. It is fantastic. So yeah, I really like this. Okay, then I had an eyeshadow palette and I have a lot of thoughts about this palette. This is the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. If you guys have this palette, I'm very curious what your opinion on it is. I went back and forth throughout this shop my stash on what I think. Now mine looks different because I did remove the two glitter shades and I put in two colors from Dream Street, but I didn't want to use those because I really wanted to just use the actual Sweet Talk palette. The glitters I've tried and they really irritated my eyes. Therefore, I'm not gonna be using ColourPop glitters anymore. Um, you know, I tried it and I kind of realized it. Now, so that was a big part of the palette actually, because when you looked at it, you really noticed those and they were beautiful. So it definitely changes the palette having removed that. Um, this Super Shock, it's okay. It's not my favorite. One big criticism I have is these two colors right here, these two corally shades on the eye, they look exactly the same. Therefore, that is so redundant. I really don't like when there are two shades that close to each other in one palette. 
This one here is a bit deeper and actually I do really, really like this one. This shimmer is really pretty, this orangey peach color. And then there's like an orangey gold type color, which this one I didn't use. I feel like there's so many of these gold type colors in so many different palettes I have. So I don't know, I had some mixed feelings, but then I did a look that I was wearing in my Ranking My Blush video using primarily this matte purple. And then I blended out these, pretty much actually all the mattes, all the mattes blended in the crease and then this all over the lid and like a little bit in the crease. It was like a, essentially a purple smoky eye. I loved it. I was like, wow, because when you look at this palette, you would not think that that would be the type of look that, you know, you would do. And I loved it. The matte formula is great. And I already knew I loved the ColourPop formula. It's fantastic. The mattes were so easy to blend, especially because that was such a dark look. I love how it turned out. Um, so then after I did that, I was like, wow, okay, I do actually really, really like this palette. Um, yeah, so I think the glitters, I think, are a big factor in purchasing this, though, because it is two of the shades out of a smaller palette. You know, there were two in the So Jaded palette, and I removed those as well after the whole eye irritation issue. But that is such a larger palette that removing those hardly made any difference to the color story. Whereas, you know, getting rid of two eyeshadows from a smaller palette, I think makes a bigger difference. But all in all, bottom line, I actually do really, really like it. I love that smoky matte look that I did. Um, so I would say, you know, final thoughts. My biggest pet peeve is that these two colors are nearly identical. That's so redundant, but what are you going to do? Um, and I do love the two colors I put in from Dream Street. Those are great, and I do want to use those again at some point. It's been a while since I've used those. So, yeah, those are my kind of a long-winded thoughts on this palette. All in all, I do like it, um, but if you're going to buy the ColourPop palettes that do have the glitters in them, you know, just be aware. I know some people haven't had any issues, but my eyes became quite irritated. I do wear contacts. That may have been part of it. But yeah, personally, I won't be using those again. Alrighty, that is it for the recap. All in all, I re did, really did enjoy everything. At first, I was so-so on the Sweet Talk palette, actually. But the more I used it, I really did enjoy it. And yeah, that is it for that part. And let's get into picking new products. Alrighty, let's start with lipstick. I do want to pick one out for this Shop My Stash. And definitely a nude because that is what I go for on an everyday basis. Just trying to look through these, see what my options are. This one is from the MAC and Nicki Minaj. This is like a pinky peach color. I actually do wear that somewhat regularly. Here's one that I really like. This is ColourPop Lippy Tint in the Strand. And I haven't used this in a while. This is a really pretty pink color. This is a peach liquid lipstick by Dose of Colors. This is Bear With Me. This is a good one. Charlotte Tilbury, Bitch Perfect. I wore this pretty recently and I do like this. I've said that it's, you know, not amazing for the price, but it is nice. I think I wanna go with the ColourPop because this is something I really raved about and I don't think I've used it in quite some time. All right, we are in the highlighter drawer and hmm, so many options here. Essence Pure Nude. This is a definite favorite. I use that pretty regularly. I did recently rank my highlighters, if you saw that. Mary Luminizer, quite a good one. Um, this Kylie one, actually, I really like. It's pretty intense. Actually, now that I'm seeing this, I don't think I've used the Filmstar Bronze and Glow in some time. And I would say I do really like the highlighter and the bronzer in here I have not used a lot. So I think I want to go with this. All right, I want to pick out a bronzer. This is my newest bronzer. This is by e.l.f. And I actually have not tried this yet. So this would be a good one to try. Um, and another new-ish one, well, a couple months. I've had, this is one from ColourPop. And this is Coconut Beach. I've used this only a few times and I actually do like it. I'll probably try to reach for the e.l.f. one, but I think I want to put this in my Shot My Stash and get more use out of it. For eyeshadow palettes, I was actually thinking of picking one of my mini palettes that I keep in this little thing right here. And I will say, I really tend to neglect these, sadly. I just don't use them all that often. 
Um, these are the e.l.f. bite-sized ones. Those are okay. Uh, two of the Fenty Snap Shadows. I do like those. Um, they're not amazing, but they're actually pretty good. This Huda palette, this is really nice. This is the new nudes in, which one did I get? This is the rich one. So this is the deepest of those colors. This is gorgeous too. I've used this maybe five or six times, but, but yeah, that's really pretty. Um, another one is this Norvina one. I've only used this a couple times too. This is really, really sad. I, I kind of bought all of these within a month's time and yeah, I just have not been reaching for them, which is sad. I did buy some of these Makeup Geek quads at Target. Most of them I took out and actually put in with my Z palettes. I think I will reach for them there. And then the other ones here are the Natasha Denona Mini Lila and the Mini Nude. These I do reach for more. I've used this one quite a bit. And yeah, now that I'm looking at this, I think I want to go with the Huda because this is gorgeous, you know, definitely neutral colors. This would go along with my Pan That palette. So I'm going to go with this. Alrighty, that is it for my Shop My Stash selections. If you are interested, I have a whole Shop My Stash playlist. You can check that out. And thank you so much for watching.